Hey fellow astronomers, this is the Los Mande G11 mount um, with the on-step uh, setup and just going to talk about so, uh, mounting the servo motor. So if you just watched my last video, um, at the end I was talking about uh, uh, mounting the motors on the opposite side and um, quite frankly it's brilliant. Um, in the last two hours I've basically figured this out. I went in to start playing around with the, the 3D printing of this plate and it turns out you don't need to do anything. All you need is a plate of aluminum and drill a couple holes and a holes for your mount. That's it. This is super easy. No 3D printing. No stupid little uh, uh, flex coupling that you need to get and machine down and all that kind of stuff. This is, in my opinion, the only way to go. Um, unless somebody corrects me wrong and I'm completely missing something, uh, the bottom line is the regular worm gear. You just flip it around. Again, the shaft will be coming out on this side. Here's your simple plate that goes on there. Um, actually, let's just, well, yeah, that's fine. Um, the 40 millimeter tooth uh, gear will go on this side. Oops, sorry. Go right there. Uh, the top, there's two options actually for it. One, and then what I'm using is just the standard uh, stepper motor um, uh, plates that you get from OnStep or Stepper Online, I should say. I think they were like 15 bucks. I'm so glad I bought these because, I, again, you don't need to 3D print anything. All you need is this plate, which bolts on perfectly there. And then you basically just put your stepper motor bracket on right there. And your motor will go right there with that. And let's just go to the bottom because it's easier. Uh, one note on the top one, uh, this is the 160, I probably can't see that. It's the 160 uh, 2 GT belt. On the top, I'm actually gonna use the uh, 200. So on the top, I'm gonna go with the 200 and I'm gonna mount the motor um, underneath simply because I think it's a lot cleaner and there's no issues with space down below and then I don't have it up above. Uh, you can mount it on top if you want, but I'm gonna mount it down below. Um, on the bottom, it's brilliant. Uh, just looking at this, there is absolutely plenty of clearance under there, so you're not gonna hit anything, so that just, just misses it just fine. Um, again, I've simply, rotate this around for you. I've simply uh, put that on there, we put on our, on our, sorry, here, on our 20 tooth pulley, uh, down on the bottom. Again, this will be the 160 belt. Goes on there. And now we can simply mount our motor right there. And so this is brilliant. There is nothing sticking out at all, so it doesn't do anything with clearance on either side. It's tucked away underneath everything, so it fits perfectly. Um, like I say, the there is no alignment adjustment stuff. It's all taken up with this belt, and in, in addition, we get a two to one, so we double our, our resolution with, uh, with using a belt on there. Uh, again, nothing to 3D print. The only issue on the bottom side is on the um, uh, altitude knob. That doesn't work. It's not going to fit. You're going to have to take that off. Uh, it's not a big deal at all. I could care less because this is going on a permanent mount. But you can still get in there easily with a wrench to adjust that a little bit as, as you need to go up or down. Um, so that's still no big deal. Uh, taking this knob off, I will say, is kind of a pain in the butt. There is literally just a set screw uh, right here. So you take out that set screw and then I, and you're going to have to, you have to take off this plate. So there's four bolts here. Um, to get out the bottom two when the knob's on, it's a pain. Just get an Allen wrench. I had to take an Allen wrench and I grinded it down so that I could fit it in between the, the knob so I could get out that bottom bolt. So you take out those four bolts. On the front here, there's just two bolts. So you take out those two bolts, this plate just comes off, and then the whole assembly will come out. And so all it is is the knob is just screwed on that that. Um, that uh, threaded rod right there. Um, and then there's a, uh, a little, um, also a, a threaded, um, uh, not a bolt, but a, a coupler that's screwed on with a set screw on it. 
don't remove that because that, um, I mean, you can, but I, in fact, I did, but it's easier. You don't need to. Um, just take the rod. I took the rod, wrapped it in a, in a towel, put it in a vise, and then just and then just literally cranked on this thing and unscrewed it. Um, it was a pain to get out because, like I say, they Loctited it with with a red Loctite. So it's it's you you know it's just screwed on with the set screw. But you just unscrew that. I replaced it with a nut, put some Loctite on it as well, and in fact, I even drilled a hole on it and just threaded a a little nut. Oh, there it is. Let's see. I just threaded a, a, a sorry a bolt that I I actually threaded down in there and screwed in. So um, whatever you want to do for a bolt on the end to, to adjust it, because that's got to be solid there. But the point is, is yep, you got to take that off if you want to do this this mod, but I think it's absolutely 100% worth it. Again, um, two aluminum plates, that's it. Buy a, a 62 GT belt there, or 162 GT, uh, the 40, the 20, um, and done. So. That's pretty much it, and this is coming from a guy that spent hours and hours designing this silly little um, three-to-one adapter, which which would have worked really nice. Clearly, I got to cut the rod off, but this actually would have worked really nice, and it gives me the th the three-to-one ratio. But long term, I mean, come on, there's no plastic there. There's like I say, get rid of that coupling. It just, it's a no brainer. And um, again, that's after spending a whole bunch of time here. So uh, sorry, it's not put together only because I'm gonna rip it apart right now and actually spray paint all this up nice and, and black and pretty. And then I'm gonna throw it all together. So very good guys, clear skies, best of luck. Cheers.